Today it's a throwdown between old tech versus new tech. And in the middle, a lighter that everybody seems to love to hate. Interested? Here we go. The arc lighter comes in a nice box. Make an excellent gift actually. And then this is the interface mini. Plugs in there like that, and then this plugs in USB. It's that simple. Charges up in a couple hours. And by the way, before somebody asks, I was paid nothing for this evaluation. There are all sorts of different kinds. This just happens to be a Ron XS. I don't even know what that means. I paid my own money. This is an honest review. It says here, ZZ sound caused by the high voltage power generation during ignition. Oh, that's this. We'll be looking at price and number of lights, but I want to get performance. We're going to test these three lighters out on paper, a fan for wind, we're gonna do 10 candles in a row. We're gonna do a candle in a jar. Talk about safety, shelf life, and then the pizzazz. Has this got pizzazz? Does this have pizzazz? Or does this have pizzazz? For the crumpled paper test, we're gonna just take a regular piece of white paper, ball it up, and then try to light it using the three different resources. Then how long it takes for it to catch on fire. Our timing will also be based on the start process. In this case, taking the match and lighting it. It's lit. Paper is lit. Dura flame. About six seconds. The arc light. It shuts off after seven seconds. Not feeling any heat. Let's try it this side. I'm seeing smoke. About seven seconds. Here we go. Ten tea lights. This is always what I dislike about flame. Danger, Will Robinson. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dang! One minute, twenty-one seconds, and two matches. They're a flame. Time, 39. And now, the arc lighter. Time, 46 seconds. Here's a challenge, the jar light. Now to be fair, the match is only so long, so we're gonna have to put it on its side or use some tongs. We're also using a previous lit candle. So we're gonna put it in here like this, sitting on the bottom, and then time it for the shot. Decided to do all of these outside so I didn't want to smoke up the house. It's a pretty humid day, nearly zero wind. Ugh. Time, about 11 seconds. The Dura Flame. Time, about four or five seconds. Now, the arc lighter. I've realized I have a tendency to leave this on. You can see where the monitors are. There's five of these, so I've assumed that I've already burned through potentially a hundred lights. There is no safety precaution except for it off, and then this won't light. So that's something to consider. About six, seven seconds. Because there's no consistent wind, we're gonna use this desk fan at the maximum speed, blowing on this candle to simulate a wind. And we're gonna raise the candle up so that we can ensure that it's in the middle of the wind path from all sides, bottom, top. The fan is four inches away. Now we go with the match. Nope. I'll try with the match closer to the end of the candle. 
That's a bad match. Try this one. Oh, no, just won't stay lit. Duraflame. Lighting. Just to prove that it lights outside of the wind. Here we go with the arc lighter. Turn it on, light. It actually lights the candle on fire. And you see the spark? Kind of crazy. Let's see how everybody did. Paper? They can all do paper. Wind? Only the contender. Ten candles. But this, this one, and this one, better than the rest. Jar? They all did the jar, as long as you did it at an angle. Safety? These will burn your fingers. This one has a safety lock, but it's been overrun by just pushing down harder on it. So it's actually harder to use. This one, as long as you have it on the off position, you can't start it. When it is on the on position, you can turn it on. So, huh, give it a little bit of a positive, a lighter check. Shelf life. This one has been on my shelf for 10 years. So it's got a solid shelf life. This one has a shelf life as long as it's got fuel. So I'll give that a check. This one has a shelf life. Question becomes, if you leave it on like that, does that take out the shelf life? I'm gonna say it's questionable. Pizzazz, now that one's a hard one to find. Matches, they're the old standby. Not much pizzazz. Duraflame, it's got some pizzazz. You can color the handle, but it's still kind of been around for a long time. So questionable pizzazz. Now this one, it's got a crook neck. It's electrical, it's digital. It's got these little LEDs here. It's thin, by the way, pretty safe. Although I noticed that when I was doing the 10 candles across, this did heat up a bit. But I think it's the flame of the candles, not necessarily the arc here. Whoa, if you go on the top, that's gonna shock you. On the sides, you're pretty safe. Sides here, safe. It's getting a little warm. But if you go here, you're too close and you'll arc and, and that will shock you. That's why safety minus. But pizzazz, I think it's got all the pizzazz in the world. I just don't know about the shelf life. Let's talk cost. I thought this was a 300 count. It's a 250. So think about this. A box of those matches ranges in cost one to two dollars. You would have to buy 1,000 boxes to equal the number of lights with this arc lighter. This Duraflame lighter costs anywhere from seven to ten dollars. The arc light costs anywhere from ten to thirteen dollars. Based on the results, I think there's a clear winner. Arc light wins across the board. Goodbye, Duraflame. <laughs> Goodbye, matches. Arc light champion. I'm interested to see in the comments below what you think. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned, where I'm going to make something out of this arc light, and it's a cosplay coming soon. <laughs>